WWE teases a major crossover match, plus signed AEW talent was backstage at NXT, and we had an on-screen AEW reunion on last night's NXT as well. It's all in the Cultaholic Wrestling News right now. Last night on NXT, Trick Williams held court with Cody Rhodes, the NXT champ and the WWE champion, hanging out. Uh, Cody is coming to the cookout next week. He confirmed that, yeah. yeah. As confirmed, but he also confirmed what could be a major crossover match between WWE and, well, other parties. He did, because uh, he revealed that Trick's next challenger would be determined in a 25-man battle royal. But also, quite intriguingly, Cody added, you may know some of them, but some of them might be from different locker rooms. Oh. Does that mean Raw and SmackDown, or does that mean further afield? Well, it's... Uh of, I think it might mean both. Why I think I obviously, that I mean, because that's you're looking further there, afield, yeah, you're yeah. looking to the horizon. Watch for the green flash. Yes, so I've been watching Pirates of the Caribbean. <laughs> uh, now, obviously, we will see. I think we'll see maybe Raw and SmackDown talent represented. But with everything going on with this TNA crossover, there's a lot expecting us. There's a lot of us expecting to see a TNA star or two popping up. In fact, the announcement of that match was met by Joe Hendry chants yes. at the NXT arena. And there were signs in the crowd saying things like "Say his name," and they weren't, you know, they weren't hiding that at all. Um, so. It could be very intriguing indeed, not only to see if Joe Henry's there, which of course we're very interested in, mm -hmm. uh, but also just to see who pops up and if it is other people from possibly TNA. It'd be lovely to see that. Mm. And there's so many conversations about seeing TNA stars appearing on NXT. This would be a nice way to maybe integrate one or two different ones. So we'll talk about another one of those in a little bit. When it comes to WWE crossing over uh, with other wrestling entities, they have not been shy about that. It's part of the Paul, you don't want me in the photograph Levesque era huh. of WWE. And another crossover match was confirmed yesterday. Yes, it was. And it was announced at Rossi Ogawa's promotion, Marigold, the one that's kind of been very recently set up after Ogawa left stardom and uh, Julia seemed to be the focal point of it before she goes to NXT but she then got injured in the first main event of the promotion's existence and all that sort of stuff. It's been very eventful so far and it's set to get even more eventful because it was announced at yesterday's Marigold show in Currican Hall that Utami Hayashishta, one of the big stardom crossovers who left stardom and went to Marigold, uh, will be taking on EO Sky at Summer Destiny on July 13th. This is a this is a, the latest um, WWE superstar heading off on loan to a different promotion. We saw Charlie Dempsey do it as well recently. But Io Sky, this is kind of a return to the Japanese women's wrestling scene as well. Yeah, first time uh, since 2018 wow. when she was Io Shirai. Yes. Uh, she performed uh, at, uh, back then in stardom, two-time world of stardom champion, uh, Io Sky. This is a, a great get for Marigold. It's part of this other special relationship that has been formed with, uh, with Triple H, William Regal and Rossi Ogawa uh, that will no doubt lead to Marigold in some way sort of floating in the in the in the culture in the multiverse of WWE yeah and, and I think as well it's an interesting one because even though it's not taking place in stardom it's very much like a, a clash of two different eras of stardom ironically mm -hmm. because Io, Io Sky or Io Shirai she was known back then was like the ace of the promotion for a while before she left she was the big dog and then Utami Hayashishta was one of those people who really stepped up despite having limited experience at the time and became one of the new stars of the new generation and became champion as well so it's a bit of a dream clash and I'm excited to see where, how it goes I imagine Io will win though you would have thought so yeah, wouldn't yeah. you being the visiting WWE talent yeah but stardom old and stardom new Marigold in July, which is rather special. Mm -hmm. uh, we had an AEW talent backstage at NXT last night. Five for Select, Sean Ross Sapp, learning that Rebel, not Reba, mm -hmm. uh, it was at the June 11th NXT tapings last night. Uh, haven't heard why she was there. Uh, she's appeared multiple times for NXT in the past. She's been with AEW, TV, AEW for a while, but hasn't been on AEW TV for a couple of years now. But according yeah. to the roster page, she's still on the books. Yeah, uh, she's still under contract with AEW, she's yeah. still on the books. Uh, Fightful has reported that she's personally connected to someone who works at NXT. So it could be a totally off-camera, just a personal relationship kind of thing. Like she's going along to support a friend or a partner or something. Uh, and, and that would make total sense. And I guess we're in the era where that's allowed and that's fine. And, and that you is. don't have to be like... 
She doesn't have to ride up on a tank and, <laughs> and take over NXT. <laughs> kind of wish she would, though. Yeah. It's, it's pretty much it's on brand for Rebel. Mm. Uh, now, there was an on screen AEW moment last night on NXT. Very deliberately so, wasn't there, Jack? Shawn Michaels is a very cheeky man indeed, so I'm a very cheeky man. That's because, uh, as we talked about earlier, Cody Rhodes was on NXT last night, and the penultimate segment on the show backstage saw Cody being approached by Sean Spears, who said, I'm going to win that battle royal you were talking about. Then they went interrupted by Ethan Page, who also said, I'm going to win that battle royal. And then Lexus King, who also said that. Uh, and then Cody addressed all three of them and said, it seems like you guys are in a good place. Now, that configuration of superstars there, you may have noticed, are all former <laughs> AEW wrestlers. The joke is, yes. they're all yeah. all elite wrestling alumni. Yes. They also took a very funny picture backstage where they did the Spider-Man meme, mm -hmm. which I very much enjoyed as well. But now, now there's multiple ways to read into you're in the good place. Obviously, pew pew shots fired. Uh, I'm looking forward to a tweet from Tony Khan. Uh, but somebody pointed out to me on Twitter, it's true. You guys are in the good place. Do you remember the Netflix series, The Good Place? Yeah. Oh, I know the thing. But I don't know if we should say the no, thing. No, just in case you've never seen The Good Place. But that, there is a, that is very apt. Yes. There is a hilarious twist. In yeah, it. yeah, yeah. I like that moment anyway it was nice to see like those uh, ex AEW guys gathering under WWE's mm -hmm. banner there and just having a little nod and a wink I understood that reference I just imagine that at the next set of AEW TV tapings everybody who used to work for WWE is running to get, <laughs> to get in the big do you remember that massive selfie at the Oscars with like every big celebrity <laughs> yeah. in it they're all gonna do one of them as well I thought that was funny. I think if a if on AEW they do that with WWE stars, I will think that is funny as well. I would too. That is yes. true wrestling peace and harmony. Mm, yes. Uh, speaking of things crossing the streams, uh, I had a lovely chat with TNA's Leon Slater yesterday. Yeah. Good to catch up with the youngest in charge. We talked North Wrestling Thunderstruck 2, which is July 13th at the Walker Dome in Newcastle, where he defends the North title against Man Like Darice. We talked about uh, how upon his day, upon, upon Matt Hardy's debut, which caught him off guard, he had a conversation with Matt Hardy, and Matt revealed that Jeff Hardy had tweeted, uh, had texted Matt and said, that 450 cent on is badass, mm. which is Leon Slater's move, and Leon Slater, who has been the biggest super fan of Jeff Hardy for his whole young life, uh, loves the fact that Jeff Hardy loves his move. Like, yeah. That's a nice little bit, that is. I imagine if, if he could have handpicked one wrestler to compliment his 450 swans on, it would have been Jeff Hardy, surely. Oh my god, you would have yeah. thought so, wouldn't you? Now, in a FIFA report the other day, it was... Uh, revealed by Corey Brennan that several NXT stars were keen to work with TNA talent and one of those names that was suggested was Leon Slater. So I got Leon Slater's reaction to that report and he said, it is extremely, extremely cool to have my name thrown up in this conversation. I've been trying not to get too excited over it, but I like to think that there's no smoke without fire. For me to be named is very cool, especially in the position I am now, where I'm on TNA, but I'm not the highest on the totem pole. I'm certainly not the level of a Macklin or a Santana or a Josh Alexander, who I know had been named as well. So for me to be in the position I am and still be spoken of highly by people on that side is very cool. And I hope we do get to explore what the prohibited portal looks like for me, for sure. Uh, Tom also asked Leon Slater about possible dream matches because, as as you mentioned, he's still really young and there's still a whole world Annoyingly of young. So young, but so good for how young he is. But there's so many wrestlers that he hasn't wrestled yet and some of those would be classed as his personal dream matches. He said, the one I've been seeing on socials a lot is me and NXT's Javon Evans. I think even before Javon got signed, we were being compared as kind of like two parallels on other sides of the pond. We're both young, we both carry ourselves with confidence, this kind of attitude. So I think me and Javon would be a very interesting matchup. Other than him, obviously the main man, Trick Williams, is someone I would like to mix it up with. As far as the main roster goes, I have to say AJ Styles, especially being on this side representing TNA now. It, uh, I'd be super, super interested to mix it up with AJ, who really put TNA on the map. You can hear the full interview on the Cultaholic podcast feed today. Uh, the video will be on our Patreon later today as well. And uh, now it's a Wednesday. And I do believe, judging by what my watch says, Today is the day that the swans are flying. The swans will be flapping along Fly at 6 p.m. UK time, twitch.tv forward slash cultaholic. Uh, hopefully we'll get the new season underway, Tom. We got promoted, but now in the top flight of Japanese football. As the, where the swans should be in the yes. top flight. Absolutely, very nice. Twitch.tv slash cultaholic at 6 British summer time. Uh, and for the latest wrestling news throughout the day, you can check out cultaholic.com. Stay safe. Fly, swans, fly. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>